It is Thursday, and that means it's time to get a take on the news from the left, right, and middle. From the left is political blogger and Medgar Evers College professor Wallace Ford. And from the right is Washington attorney Horace Cooper. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Have you started your endings? Are you ready? Oh, we're, I'm, I'm, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so probably no surprise. Let's start off talking about this congressional report on CIA tor torture or enhanced er uh, interrogation techniques. Here's my question, and I'm going to start with you, Horace. That, and that is, is the release of this report politics? Is it transparent? Is it noble? Is it foolhardy? What is it? Well, it's foolhardy, um, and the reason it's foolhardy is if you're going to take your acts and you're going to make sure that you're going to live up to transparency, why don't you tell us what you did and when you talked to the IRS? If you're going to live up to transparency, why don't you bring C-SPAN in when you're negotiating uh, the Nebraska Cornhusker kick kickback to get Obamacare passed? There have been a lot of chances for this administration to stand up for transparency, and it's chosen not to. Only at a circumstance like this, even when John Kerry, the Secretary of State, has asked him not to, does the administration go up front and say it's a great idea for all our allies to know what our national security secrets are. This isn't even a true document. It's not an accurate document. And it misrepresents us to the rest of the world. Very bad politics, very bad idea, and not showing any sign of commitment to transparency looks a lot more like a desire to cripple one one of our agents that helps to keep our country safe. Horace, uh, uh, Horace I don't know if you can see, but there's fumes coming out of <laughs> Wallace's ears. So go, Wallace. No, no, I, That's actually, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, this this misdirection play on your part, Horace. At, at some point, you may wish to actually answer the question. It's not about the IRS. It's not about Obamacare. It's about the fact that this country is engaged in the type of activity that's, that's just absolutely re reprehensible. And as one commentator pointed out, if American uh, soldiers have been subjected to this treatment, well, there's no doubt that we'd be saying this is just barbaric, it's it's absolutely torture, and it's not what this country should be about. It's just that simple. And so as a matter of fact, it is important that you don't hear Iraq, you don't hear Iran, you don't hear ISIS, you don't hear a lot of other uh, per, you know, Boko Haram talking about their torture techniques and, 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 uh, and, and disclosing them. But yeah, the United States, is, it was wrong. We were wrong as a country. We were wrong with, with respect to the administration. And you know, owning up to that is not a bad thing. It's, it's a good thing in this particular instance. And, and you can go in, in with your misdirection talking about um, Cornhusker uh, activity, but I'm telling you that this is an historic moment for this country to actually be able to step up uh, and say this is something that we did that's clearly wrong, and we will take steps to see that you don't, don't do it again. And by the way, in, in addition to being wrong, it, it appears that it's totally ineffective a, as well. Let me throw this okay. in here, this nuance. Hold on. Let me throw a nuance in here in the discussion, because I want your perspective on both of you. It strikes me as odd that in this conversation that's being had about whether or not the report is right, whether or not it should have been released, does it put American assets around the, the globe at risk, is whether or not it is moral for those techniques, whether you call them EITs or torture, to have been legal. The fact is that the CIA can, in fact, stand solidly behind they didn't break the laws of the time. We've got to talk about that, too. Well, you okay. had an opinion of counsel, uh, the White House counsel, who's, who's uh, someone that uh, was appointed, uh, was nominated to the Supreme Court and found definitely not wanting, uh, def definitely not qualified, rather, uh, as someone who, yes, they okayed this, this type of activity. I don't know that that means it's legal. In answer to your question, what, I, don't, I, don't I don't think there's any question that it's not the way that you want to see this country portrayed. You don't want to see people doing this on behalf of this country because there's two things. One, it's wrong, and number two, payback is a bitch. Okay, Horace, okay. Go, Let's jump start on with in. some reality here. here. Fact number one, the administration didn't release this. If we were really serious about transparency, the administration itself could have released this. What Ms. Uh, Senator Feinstein has acknowledged is in a fit of pick about how the CIA uh, may have snooped on her own staff's activities, she's giving them a little bit of payback. That's number one. Number two, the, the president justifies a policy that I support, the drone strikes, which 
kill the people that we are worried about. It doesn't take them in and allow us to interrogate them with enhanced techniques, but he relies on the same legal analysis to do that. And yet the drone strikes actually end up not just getting the individuals that we're seeking, but sometimes it gets their spouses. Sometimes it gets their children. Now, the very same policy that we now say resulted in making it legal for people to do the things that we are embarrassed and ashamed about is the policy and the legal analysis that we're relying on this. Are we now saying in five years or 10 years, the next administration is going to be able to turn on the Obama administration? Well, okay. I think okay. that's you, absolutely you, you. what will happen. That does happen throughout history. I want to jump in here and turn the corner just uh, just a little bit and talk about one other thing uh, you, 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 before we go. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, okay. I'll give yeah, you just, just real, 10 real seconds. Go. Because, uh, you know, there's a big difference, um, uh, Horace, between uh, drone strikes, I think, and, and uh, the kind yeah, of enhanced you. interrogation. No, you know, they kill you re and re your family. Rectal, feed, rectal feeding and rectal hydration, I think, is a totally different I'll, ballgame. I'll, okay? I'll take Let rectal me ask feeding you this, and hydration over killing my myself and my parents well, all right, any right, day of the week. Let me just ask you this. I don't think you will, you will take that. Hold on. Let me just ask you this, Horace. Is it a bit like comparing apples and oranges because we are talking about the actions of another administration and a different Congress and comparing it to the actions of this administration and this con Congress? It, it, it's difficult to draw a straight line between the two. Absolutely, we can draw a straight line. The actual legal analysis that authorizes the drone strike relies on the same authorization for the use of force that President Bush relied upon. In but isn't there a difference the, in, in that the, we didn't know, we, we have known pretty much all along about the, the drone strikes. It has been debated in public, and that's been a part of this discussion, was that these techniques, according to this congressional report, were not debated in public, I and that support, Congress was misled. No, well, well, that's well, a mischaracterization. Uh, let me answer. The, I was the, the one asked the question. Yeah, the, the report. That, that let, is him a answer, let him answer. Okay. That was a mischaracterization of the reality. I do not support us announcing how many people have actually been used, targeted by the drones, and how many times they actually hit the real targets versus the ones that were not. I don't even support allowing the information of where the countries are that we're operating. None of that information has been made available. At some point, an irate senator could compile all of this and make up some dates and add that information and release it. That's right, similar Horace, to what's happened okay. here. Let me stop you right there and give uh, Wallace the last word. Okay, just, we have just, to go. just the, the, the final aspect on this just has to do when we talk about transparency. Just keep in mind that the Senate report and it's uh, some six thousand pages. So I don't know. You say that it's, it's wrong. I, when you finish the six thousand pages, I'll, I'll listen to your judgment on it. But we do know that the Senate report does indicate that the CIA directly told the president about the, these. The, what We'll call nicely uh, th this enhanced in interrogation torture uh, being used. Yet, as uh, but in 2007, you have you have President Bush still as president of the United States saying the, this country is not engaged in torture. You have former Vice President Cheney to this day saying that even the techniques as, as being so graphically described do not in, in, uh, do not uh, amount to torture. So we we you know, we we're, we're, in, we're we've got mind games, we've got uh, looking glass games, uh, but we don't. Have have truth here, um, Horace, and, 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 it's, and it's a shame. And, 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 and perhaps at some point, uh, you will see it that have way. To, gentlemen, did, we're going to have to leave it at president that. You guys are going to have to call himself. each other and continue I'll, this I'll, debate I'll, on the phone. I'll, I'll have my we're people call your people. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you to Horace Cooper to and to Wallace Ford. We'd like to end this evening again, extending an Arise News welcome to the new viewers in the United Kingdom that are now viewing us on Freeview Channel 136. Welcome. Glad you're here. Come on back here tomorrow for another edition of Arise America. I'm Debbie Turner-Bell. Have a great day. Bye-bye.